Magneto is an incredibly powerful mutant. We all know that. The fact that he doesn't rule the world is usually due to his personality or his circumstances. What are some of your favorite moments where Magneto has actually achieved more than that though? While you think of that, I'm Adam Andrews with Top 10 Nerd and this is my list of the top 10 most powerful Magneto variants. Coming in at number 10, 1602. In this alternate Earth or alternate timeline, Magneto is known as Enrique or the Grand Inquisitor. He was born Jewish in a Venice ghetto, but was taken in by a Christian priest and baptized. The Christians later refused to let him be returned to his Jewish family, and being unable to be reunited with this family left him psychologically scarred, which I guess led him directly to become the leader of the Spanish Inquisition somehow? He was ordered to execute the witch breed, or mutants to us in the modern age, but he hid those who could pass off as human. Enrique's only known followers are his children Petros and Sister Wanda, who are Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch in case you didn't make the connection. And his spy in the Vatican is the Toad. Enrique uses his position to further his needs and curry favor with the influential figures including King James of Scotland. While Enrique is attempting to have Angel killed, the witch breed is rescued by Iceman and Cyclops. If you guys haven't read 1602, definitely do. It's written by freaking Neil Gaiman. Like, come on. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you drop a like. It really helps us out as a channel and we would really appreciate it. It's on to number nine with Age of Apocalypse Magneto. In the reality of Age of Apocalypse, Magneto leads this world's X-Men after the death of his friend, Charles Xavier, at the hands of Xavier's son, David, who traveled back in time, hoping to kill Magneto. Magneto and the X-Men fight against the forces of this world's apocalypse, who, without the interference of Xavier, was able to take over North America. Magneto's team is composed not only of the X-Men, but also includes mutants like Sabretooth and other not so good guys. In this timeline, Magneto is married to the mutant Rogue, and together they have a son they named Charles. Magneto and this Charles are later personally captured by Apocalypse himself, though they are rescued by Rogue and the other X-Men, including Nate Grey, who raid Apocalypse's Citadel in a desperate final attempt to save all of reality from Macron, Chris Crystallization. The end fight between Apocalypse and Magneto in this story is so awesome, and Magneto like literally tears the celestial technology out of him. It's just super cool. Number eight, Magneta. On Earth 982, the Age of Heroes happened about 15 years earlier than on Earth 616, meaning most of the events, history, and character history associated with the heroes of Earth 616 also happened 15 years before. As such, a lot of the superheroes of the past, the ones you and I know, have either grown up grown old, or retired, with new heroes in their place. For Magneto, he doesn't actually show up. Instead, we have a young woman who goes by the name Magneta, and who seems to have all the same powers as Magneto, even dressing similar to him as she considers him her predecessor. She started off as a hero and always spouted the heroic ideologies that Magneto followed, condemning his more negative aspects. But that didn't really seem to matter though, as she eventually went bad anyways and founded the sisterhood of mutants as a strike team for mutants against human oppression. Her efforts to recruit a midtown high school student named Nucleus brought her into conflict with Spider-Girl and the X-People. Number seven, Max Eisenhart of Earth 8013. In this reality where Charles Xavier had died in his first encounter with Lucifer, Magneto formed his brotherhood of evil mutants using his children, Pietro and Wanda, alongside Cyclops, Jean Grey, Iceman, Angel, and Beast, who curiously wielded gauntlet that made him some very Wolverine-like claws for some reason, I don't know. These five youths were the original X-Men on Earth 616, which makes it really interesting to see them in this strange Magneto-led bad guy team. Together, they actually ended up successfully conquering the world, but then again, they were unable to prevent Galactus from in turn destroying that world, so... But hey, you win some, you lose some, you know? I don't know. Number six, what if Magneto ruled all mutants? In this what if story from 1996, Magneto leads mutant kind as they float above Earth in space on a sanctuary Magneto established called Avalon. Magneto had decided to let his mutants rule themselves so that he wouldn't be a dictator to them. Unfortunately, a large group of mutants had divided themselves into two warring factions known as the Isolationists, who wanted to move Avalon to another star system, and the Annihilates, who wanted to go the easier route of destroying humanity 
and just taking the Earth for themselves. Magneto had to stop the two factions from fighting when they nearly destroyed Avalon. Later, after the birth of the first child on Avalon, Magneto actually manipulated events in order to unite the two warring factions together. But on the outside, he acted as though he was done trying to get them to work together. What if number 85 from 1996 is certainly an interesting story and you should definitely check it out. Number 5, Age of X. Max Eisenhart from Earth 11326 proved to be a master strategist and a radical leader in a fight against the human race. He was a key figure in organizing resistance movements, protests, and he was the leader of both the Brotherhood and the Acolytes. He also supplied the Mutant Liberation Front with intel and logistical support. Now, similar to his Ultimate Universe counterpart, he once attempted to reverse the Earth's magnetic poles and he would have succeeded if it hadn't been for Tony Stark and Reed Richards who created technology that thwarted his plans and prevented any further attempts. One of his biggest feats though would be the creation of Fortress X. Magneto using his powers literally stole several skyscrapers from New York City and put them together to create a mutant safe haven. It was both a show of force and a mutant rallying cry. Now after the incursions, this version of Magneto would actually go on to play a key role in the Battle World Red Skull Volume 2 storyline. Definitely a good read there. Check it out. Number 4, Heroes Reborn. Heroes Reborn Magneto and the Mutant Force Volume 1 on Earth TRN 852 gives us a version of Magneto who set up yet another mutant sanctuary in the form of Island M and founded and led a team known as the Mutant Force consisting of Frenzy, Jubilee, Rogue, Sabra, Mr. One, and Mr. Two, including himself. During a mutant protest against mutant registration, a fight broke out with the Squadron Supreme of America who are like a Marvel's Comics Justice League if that makes sense. During the fight, Power Princess, who was basically Wonder Woman, killed Professor X and paralyzed Magneto after hitting him in the spine. Magneto, affected by the passing of Xavier and who kind of took on his whole wheelchair thing, vowed to aid mutants against human oppression. This Magneto variation actually gets his body taken over by Cassandra Nova in a crazy twist of events and honestly, the whole story is a wild ride from start to finish. Number 3, Ultimate Universe. Everything in the Ultimate Marvel Universe or Earth 1610 is more extreme for better or for worse. While some fans hate this version of Magneto for being a straight up villain and not the anti-hero the character has become, it is almost impossible to deny that he does show just what Magneto is totally capable of. This version of Magneto is significantly darker and more cynical than the mainstream version, regarding all humans with utter and unwavering disdain and likening them to insects. On several occasions, he has attempted to carry out extreme genocidal plans for the human population using the noticeable larger Brotherhood of Mutants he is in control of. This Magneto has displayed enough power to defeat the Ultimates, including Thor, a literal god, twice. And he was even successfully able to reverse the magnetic poles of the Earth, resulting in the ultimatum event that was supposed to end the Ultimate Universe but didn't for some reason, I don't know. Number two, Brother Mutant. If you are a comic book fan, which I hope you are considering you've made it this far in the video, I highly encourage you to check out the Exiles team if you haven't already. They are a reality hopping team of heroes and sometimes villains that go around trying to fix fractured realities. One such reality that multiple teams of specifically alternate versions of Wolverine have been trying to save would be Earth 127. This reality was one of the many that was accidentally fractured by the explorations of the Time Breakers and has a few gender swapped characters including Magneto and his children. On this world, the Scarlet Warlock attempted to transfer the adamantium skeleton of 127's Wolverine into his mother, Magneto. But the Warlock's hex powers inadvertently merged himself, his mother Magneto, his sister Quicksilver, and the mutant Mesmero with Wolverine creating an entirely new and extremely powerful entity known as as Brother Mutant, who sought to take over the world. And in at number one is Magneto from House of M. When the forces of Professor X, the Avengers, and the X-Men arrive to defeat or defend the Scarlet Witch due to her unstable mind and powers and the influence of her brother, she caused a white flash to go off and used her powers to change reality. Mutants were no longer the minority, free to use their powers, living as proud mutants. All the mutant heroes were now living their perfect lives. Most of the societal changes 
in this alternate timeline were directly thanks to the strong and successful leadership of the House of Magnus, meaning Magneto and his children. Magneto took the fight to the USA with his fellow mutants. He brought down the shield helicarrier and fought a final battle against the Sentinels in Central Park, defeating them. The President of the United States was captured and Magneto and Genosha were now the world's premier superpower, with large parts of the world under his control as king. King Eric Magnus was the most powerful individual in the world, if we don't consider the Scarlet Witch who literally created it all. Instead of mutant oppression, humans were now being oppressed and hunted by alternate versions of Sentinels. Heroes like Luke Cage, Hawkeye and more tried to rise up and defend the defenseless as a group called the Human Resistance Movement. And that's all we got. Remember to drop a like if you enjoyed this video nerds. I've been your host Adam Andrews, this is Top 10 Nerd and until next time stay safe out there. <laughs>